In December of 2018, um, my husband and I found out that we were expecting. Um, I was extremely excited, but of course nervous um, as well. I have a soon-to-be 12-year-old daughter, Cadence. She was born in 2007 via C-section. I was nervous because I didn't know if I was going to have to have a repeat C-section um, or if I was going to be a candidate for um, a vaginal delivery. VBAC is an acronym for vaginal birth after cesarean section. When a woman has a cesarean section, it doesn't mean that she has to have repeat cesarean sections. They're candidates for VBACs if they have been at least a year since they had their C-section before they get pregnant. So it allows healing and strengthening of that incision. So on August 23rd um, of this year, I delivered our son Maddox via successful VBAC with Dr. Aronson um, at my bedside. So I'm super thankful for that. I think we do an excellent job at the group supporting VBACs, determining whether or not they're good candidates or not. A vaginal delivery definitely poses a less risk for me and the baby, so that was important to me. Also, we're an extremely active family. My husband is a physical therapist, an avid crossfitter. We travel a lot. My daughter is involved in many different sports, so I knew that like I didn't want to be at home, like recovering from a major surgery. We have lots of support at Genesis for our VBACs. We have anesthesia who's willing to stay in house while those women are laboring. We are committed to stay in, in the hospital while women are laboring. If you're in the Quad Cities and you, um, you know, want to try a VBAC or you just need help with attempting pregnancy or um, whatnot, I feel like the best OB care team is right here at the group.